Okay, so this is the key to uh, section 2.5, part 3. And in, um, again, in this, in this lesson, you're dealing with uh, transformations. This time, though, the parent function is going to be the square root of x. So these are going to be transformations in this using the parent function, square root of x. So we'll put square root of x here. All right. Now, remember, um, basically what's happening is that, is that when you graph the square root of x, I mean, this is what the graph of the square root of x looks like right here. So when you graph the square root of x, you're doing uh, you're doing all kinds of things to it: reflections, uh, vertical translations, and all that. All right. Um, okay. So um, now in this particular case, notice there is a reflection about the x-axis, and then see how this plus three is on the outside of the parent function. Remember that's called a vertical translation. All right. So there are two translations that you're doing here. Uh, always do the vertical translation last. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is is um, take the parent function square root of x and reflect it about the x-axis. Alright, so whenever there's a reflection you must do that first. Uh, you must do the vertical translation last. Otherwise you'll be graphing a different function. All right, so basically what's happening is this. So here, here's the uh, square root function right here, square root function. And then you're going to reflect it about the x-axis, so you get this. So that's what you're going to end up getting right here, OK? All right, so then you're going to take this that you just did, the, 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 uh, the reflection. You're going to take this graph, and then you're going to shift it up three units. So you're going to go up three, one, two, three. So that's what you're going to end up with, OK? All right, so then you can take that graph, take that graph, and when I mean that graph, I mean the one that you just reflected. Take that graph and shift it, shift vertically up, uh, and then that's a three, so three units. Okay. All right. So remember though, when uh, the the points that you must use for the square root. So y equals square root of x. And remember, you can only take the square root of a positive number. So when we did the previous lessons with the uh, ra uh, quadratic and absolute value, we used, when we did the t-table, you'll remember that we did use negative numbers for x. But remember, this is, this is a square root function, so you can only take the square root of a positive number or 0. So if x is 0, the square root of 0 is 0. If x is 1, the square root of 1 is 1. Now remember, the points that we used, if you recall from the lesson, the points that we used for the square root function were, were um, uh, perfect squares. So we didn't use 2 because then we'd need a calculator and we'd have to approximate where it's located. Um, so we just use perfect squares. So if x is 4, we know that the square root of 4 is 2. If x is 9, we know that the square root of 9 is 3. So then you just plotted those, those four points. And those are the points that you needed. Now, notice that this graph goes all the way to 9, so we can use 9, 3. So if x is 0, I get the origin. Uh, I plot the point 1, 1. I plot the point 4, 2. And I plot the point 9, 3. All right, and so then I just connect those. It looks like this. So this is the, the parent function, um, the square root of x. All right. Now, remember, we talked about this. So, so notice the graph how this graph looks, it's really part of a parabola. You see this? The end of the part would do this. So it's, 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 it's part of a parabola, square root function. All right. Now, so basically what we've done is this, I'm going to use this transparency to kind of uh, do a couple more things. All right. So then we're going to take that graph and go back here. All right. So we're number two now. So I'm going to take this graph here, the one I just did the uh, square root function, square root function, and then I'm going to reflect it. So when I reflect it, I get this, okay? But then I'm going to take that, and I'm going to shift it up three units. So one, two, three. So this should be the final graph I should need to have. So this will be the uh, square root function, and this will be the g of x function, okay? All right, so remember what we did, though. What we're going to do, we got to use those points here, and we got to do those transformations on it. Okay, so let's take the this point here, this endpoint. Um, so I got to reflect it. Remember, it's so it's located on the x-axis. So when reflected about the x-axis, it stays there. 
But then I got to do number two. So number two says I take that point that I just reflected about the x-axis and I move it up three units. So I'm going to go up three. So one, two, three. So that's where I'm at. Okay? Right here. All right, so I take the other point. So I'm going to reflect it about the x-axis. So notice it's one unit above. So I'm going to reflect it. It comes one unit down, one unit below. So then I take that point and I go up three units, vertically up three units. One, two, three. So I get this right here. Then I take this point here. It's two units above the x-axis. When I reflect it, I go two units below. So I'm, when I reflect this above the x-axis, I get this. But then I got to go right here. I got to go three units up. One, two, three. Over here, this point here, that's three units above the x-axis. When I reflect it, I go three units below. So this becomes this. And I go up three units. One, two, three. All right, and so when I graph this, when I graph g of x now, do the best you can. To the best you can. Yes. Make sure. Um, make sure I went one unit below. One, two, three. Okay. So look something like this. Okay. Do the best you can connecting these. Make sure you draw your arrow at the end. And so there's your graph. Okay. Could have been a little bit better. I think I um, kind of messed up around here. Alright, so this is what it should look like. Like this. Alright, I kind of it kind of almost does that. Except I had it going down it should uh, should be doing this. Okay. Alright. So use transparency if you can use transparency to help you with this. But remember, when doing the transparent, when doing the transformation, you got to use the points. You're 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 moving points. You're you're doing transformation of those points, and then you connect them to get your graph. All right, so that was number one. Okay, number two. Number two, you're doing. Um, you can see there's no reflection, but you are you do have a horizontal translation and a vertical translation. All right, and again, you're dealing with the square root of x as your parent function. So the first thing you're going to do, let's always do the vertical translation last. So I'm going to do the horizontal translation. And remember, this is x minus. So it's x. It's, it needs to be x minus. If it's x plus 2, you would, in your mind, say x minus a negative 2. So you think negative 2 there, and then you go 2 units to the left. But this is x minus a positive 2, positive 2. So x minus a positive 2, and that's the one you're going to, you're going to look at. All right, so you're going to take the absolute value. I'm sorry, you take the square root of x, and you're going to shift it, shift horizontally to the more positive two now to the right two units. Then you take that graph, the one that you just did. All right, so here's what you did. So you took, you're taking this right here, you're taking this, and you're shifting it to the right two units, one, two. So you're going to take this graph now, the one you just shifted. And then you're going you're gonna to move it um, up three units. So one, two, three. So this is what you should end up with. Okay? All right. So then you can take that graph. We're doing the vertical translation now. So you're going to take that graph and shift vertically up three units. Okay? All right, so let's let's do the um, square root function. Remember the points based on the previous page. We're going to plot those four points. So, 0, 0, 1, 1, 4, 2. Since I have a 9 here, let's use it, 9, 3. So this is my square root function, so f of x. Right, and it kind of makes sense. This is what we had right here. Okay. All right, so then I'm going to shift it. First thing I gotta do is I'm gonna take this uh, um, square root function. I'm gonna shift it horizontally to the right two units. I'm gonna take every point and go to the right two units. Okay, so this same point right here, go right, right two units. One, two. I'm gonna take that and we'll go up three units. One, two, three. Okay, let me use a different color right here. So I go to this point, I go to the um, right two units, one, two, and then up three. One, two, three. Take this point, go to the right two units, one, two, and then up three. One, two, three. And then here, one, two, and then up three. 
one, two, three. So somewhere around here. So I get this. So this is my g of x function. Okay? Alright, now remember there were no grid lines here, so I had to estimate. So remember, this is what we did. So I took the parent function, took the parent function, I went to the right two units, and then up three. One, two, three. It should look something like that. Okay? Alright, so that's going to take care of worksheet 2.5, part three.